Maybe you have heard about food combining. Maybe even you want to try it. But you have never got an opportunity to explore it. Maybe you are too overwhelmed. If this sounds like you, please stay tuned. Today we will discuss the basics about food combining. Food combining is a uh, has come from very ancient India from Ayurvedic medicines. Food can be categorized as acidic, alkaline and neutral. How we eat food and how it is digested, how quickly it is digested in our GI tract is what determines how and in which order we should eat our food. There's a lot to know about food combining. Um, so basically I will give you a basic structure today and we will talk more in my next video but for today i will give you basic substantial pointers to understand what food combining is uh, when we talk about food combining the first thing that crosses our mind is what is food combining food combining as in how sh which food groups shall be combined together for an easy digestion so that it does not create bloating it does not create gas it does not create improper digestion in our gut so when we talk about food groups, there are these food groups, fruits, then it is carbs and starches, then comes your proteins and then the vegetables and finally the fat. So when we talk about fruits, fruits basically should always be eaten all by itself because fruit acids are the easiest to digest. It takes only 20 minutes to digest any fruit exception banana except banana because it is less of moisture and more of carbs it takes a little longer about 30 minutes but rest of all the fruits can be easily digested in 20 minutes so you see when we start our day the best way to start our day is with fruits the reason is it gets quickly digested and hence it gives an instant uh, upsurge in our energy and metabolism and to kick start the day now uh, coming to starches and carbs it becomes a little confusing for most of us because um, many food which contains a lot of starch or carbs also might contain proteins similarly protein rich foods might also contain fats in it but we will go by food groups which is higher uh, content of a certain nutrients so when we talk about carbs it Carbs and starches are contained in all the grains and cereals like rice, pasta, wheat, grains, um, quinoa, oats, even potatoes and yam. So all these starches are very good. They can combine very well with vegetables, any form of vegetables. So carbs should always go with vegetables like rice with any stir fry vegetable or a vegetable curry goes well. Similarly, even carbs are very good with fats so you can add a blob of ghee to your sabji or to the rice and do a stir fry uh, fried rice kind of thing it gives a good nourishment because the combination goes really well coming to protein protein rich foods can be animal protein it can be vegan protein also so animal protein as in fish beef pork or chicken and similarly a plant-based protein like tofu beans paneer all of these should not be combined with any starches so when we talk about proteins proteins take about four hours to digest whereas grains or cereals carbohydrates take about two hours to digest so we would be eating so if you imagine your gi tract as a railway line um, suppose you eat a food which gets digested like four hours takes time to digest like for four hours later suppose you had a protein and then follow it by something which quickly digests like a fruit what happens it is like a GI tract so if a railway is moving and there's a the first uh, you know first railway is your uh, protein which will take four hours to digest and the second you had a dessert of fruits which gets quickly digested so it moves faster it, both of them gets interjunct and then it kind of creates a lot of bubbles and gas and lot of bloating and finally it, it completely leaves your digestive 
tract and digestive system with chaos. So, what we have to do is any food which digests easily need to be eaten first in the first part of the day when we are empty stomach. And second should be the next food which can take about two to three hours to digest like cereals, or starches and carbs with vegetables should be your midday meal. Uh, vegetables actually is very easier source. So fruits should be left alone. Let fruits be the, you know, left alone to be eaten empty stomach. So there's no confusion. Then the midday meal or the mid afternoon should be containing of cereals and grains along with vegetables. And then you can come to protein as late evening or early evening dinner time it can contain of proteins again proteins can be combined with vegetables as well but it's very bad idea to combine a protein with carbs or starches the reason is when a carb like but this is very contradictory i know because rice and chicken curry rice and fish curry uh, bread and omelet all these are so many examples that we have been eating since years but they really create a havoc it has been there has been researchers there's been so many researchers which has proved that when you eat too many things together which has different times now different food group is digested at different interval of time secondly they are digested with help of different enzymes now these enzymes when they are secreted they create an acidic or an, an alkaline nature inside your gut inside your gi tract so you cannot when you combine one acidic and alkaline structure together it kind of it kind of creates a havoc in your system it starts you suddenly start feeling fuller you start feeling bloated you feel it's too much of burping you're doing so that is an indication that you have eaten overeaten overdone your food that is the reason the bottom line is i'm just trying to uh, make it easy for you to eat eat food in the proper order so that the digestion does not interrupt with each other each food group so you leave apart these cereals combining cereals and proteins together always keep fruit first as the first thing in the day you can as well combine uh, you can have a green juice you can have some vegetable sticks with uh, you know some uh, grains around mid morning uh, say quinoa with uh, with some uh, salads or stir fried vegetables you can have uh, some uh, you know in in fact if you get a little hungry after your lunch and before your dinner you can have these salads with some walnuts or some pistachios because nuts are also very dense in proteins and you can keep your proteins for the end of the day with no grains no cereals to be mixed with it so you can have uh, say a, um, a chicken breast with some stir fried veggies or some uh, spinach with some cottage cheese and some tofu uh, maybe a pa paneer grilled paneer with some grilled bell peppers and capsicum all these go really well by end of the day I would like to give you more in detail maybe in the coming video with practical knowledge of how we can divide and how our body reciprocates to it but I think for today let's try to understand it more better try it out yourself and please leave your comments and your uh, you know any questions that you have do like share and subscribe if you like the information and do request for anything more in detail that you would like to know Thank you, signing off, Ananya.